Javier Hernandez reporting from Washington. Many courtrooms across the country are not fully accessible to those with disabilities. A committee of architects, legal professionals, and disability advocates are working to change that. Well, we're going to have a two-foot overlap. That's Ray Heath on the left. He just finished plans on a courtroom designed to be more accessible for the disabled. As the saying goes, it looks good on paper, but would it really work? To find out, the administrative office and the General Services Administration teamed up and built a courtroom mock-up and invited some folks to come try it out. This is a good mock-up for a jury box. Um, plenty of turn space and everything else. Uh, I don't have to measure. I can eyeball it and tell you right away. A lot of uh, attention has been paid to detail. So, for example, the sight lines are excellent. They've cut out these portions here so the judge can see everybody they have to see in the courtroom and, and be able to deal with them effectively. And uh, if you have any comments about what you've seen today, we'd certainly like to hear about it. Ray's design is based on the input of the U.S. Access Board's Courthouse Access Advisory Committee, a group that includes judges, lawyers, architects, and accessibility experts, over 50 people in all. The courts are for everyone, and, and they're for everyone regardless of any access issue. And consequently, it's important for us to have a courtroom that is open and that the public can use. And when I say the public, I mean all of the public. And that's what we try to do in this endeavor. This mock-up uses the dimensions of a standard U.S. district courtroom. The design is fully accessible without making the disabled feel singled out. Right height. I can get my arms here and uh, no problem at all. So there's a little bit of resistance. People think, oh, it's going to make my courtroom too big or too awkward. And they can really see from this that it's going to work. And when the committee finds something that and doesn't it's work... It's permanent. You know, it's, yeah, it's sturdy. We'll just extend this to about here. The change is made within minutes. And that's the whole point of a mock-up, that uh, you work all these things out ahead of time, not wait until the good meal works all done and then it costs thousands and thousands to, to change and replace. The committee intends to share what they've learned. They'll provide a list of design guidelines and best practices for architects and judicial staff working on courtroom projects. That's the way it's supposed to be. That mock-up was for a federal courtroom, but the committee believes that the modifications could be applied to state courtrooms or renovation projects. Reporting from Washington, I'm Javier Hernandez.